Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do uh, lesson 8.5 of Algebra 2, which is graphing and writing equations for uh, hyperbolas. And this is part one. If you want part two, part three, email me here. If you need other materials here for this course here, Algebra 2, email me. 8.5 graph and write equations of hyperbolas. Here is the standard for this lesson here. We have a 30 point skill sheet and we have notebook uh, guide here of 15 points of taking notes. Teachers, here's your bell work for today's lesson. Give your students about five, six minutes to complete this bell work. And students, if you need extra room here, and you probably will, attach an answer sheet. If you're taking this online, uh, make sure that you include that in your uh, submission from your phone or whatever. Okay, welcome back. Here is the, the uh, answer to B. The length of AB is 450 miles. And one half of 450 equals 225, so our foci is here. And the airport's coordinates are plus or minus 225, 0. This would be what the ellipse would look like here. And then for, <clears throat> for C, the definition of an ellipse, <clears throat> the plane flies 600 miles. This is equal to the length of the major axes, 2A. So the vertices would be plus or minus 300. So A would equal 300 <clears throat> in that case. Okay, graph and write equations of hyperbolas. You graph and write equations, parabolas, circles, and ellipses. You will graph and write equations of hyperbolas, so you can model curved numbers. Recall that an ellipse is set of all points P in a plane such that the sum of the distances between P and two fixed points is a constant. A hyperbola is a set of all points P such that, and then here's our hyperbola here, d2 minus d1 equals a constant then. <clears throat> the difference of the dis distances between p and two fixed points, again called the foci, is a constant. So we have a different kind of constant here than with ellipses. We have a difference here instead of a uh, sum. And then here is a more enhanced uh, diagram here of a hyperbola. Transverse axes here. Then we have our focuses here. And our vertexes here. Transverse axes. And we have our, our asymptotes here. And then these are our minor axes here. The line through the foci intersects the hyperbola at the two uh, uh, vertices. The transverse axis joins the vertices. Its midpoint is, is the, so this is a hyperbola with a horizontal transverse axis here. Its midpoint is the, and then here is the equation for this hyperbola here, x squared over a squared equals y squared over b squared equals 1. So our x squared is here. Whatever is uh, has the a squared as the denominator would be the transverse axis here. Is the hyperbola center. So a hyperbola has two branches and has two asymptotes that contain the diagonals of a rectangle centered at the hyperbola center. So here the corners here are where you draw your your asymptote lines through. Hyperbola with vertical transverse axes. And then again here is the equation of this now when we have our transverse axes this is where the a squared is. It's in the denominator this time of the y squared. So our transverse axis now is shifted to the y axis minus x squared 
over b squared equals 1. This would be the equation for this hyperbola here, where you have your vertices here on the uh, y-axis. <clears throat> and then our foci are out here. So you just flip it up onto the y-axis and then instead of the x-axis. Identify axes. If the x squared term in the equation of a hyperbola is positive, the transverse axis lies on the x-axis. So that's another way of looking at it. You have this situation here. The x squared term is the first term over a squared, and it's positive. Then the transverse axis lies on the x-axis here. This would be the transverse axis. If the y squared term is positive, then the transverse axis lies on the y-axis. So when we have this situation here, we're just somewhat of reiterating what we've just covered, but there's a lot going on here, so it's good. Re, uh, reiterations are a good way of reinforcing something new that we're learning here. Students, in your own word, I uh, uh, define hyperbola and define foci here. And then students define vertices and define transverse axes, especially as it concerns a uh, hyperbola. And then center students define center as it pertains to a hyperbola. And that is part one of uh, 8.5. You want part two, part three, email me here. I'll get those out to you. Thank you very much.